Today, side-by-sides hold a special place in our preferences, a sentiment that evolved gradually. Initially, we dismissed them as an inferior choice compared to robust off-road trucks or SUVs. However, through first-hand experiences, we developed an appreciation for the raw power, immersive experience, convenient size, and remarkably comfortable ride over challenging terrains that side-by-sides offer. We started recommending them enthusiastically to those seeking off-road alternatives. Then, Polaris introduced the all-new 2024 Expedition, tailored for the overland community, rekindling old reservations. While the standard Expedition XP starts at $29,000, the top-tier Expedition ADV Northstar can accumulate options, bringing the total cost to over $60,000. Admittedly, at this price point, you gain a fully enclosed cab, air conditioning, heating, beadlock wheels, a rooftop tent, a rigid LED light bar, a 4,500-pound recovery winch, a potent JBL audio system, bumpers and racks, seating for five, and more. It's an impressive package, but one might question the rationale of choosing this over a 2024 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon, $51,590, or 2024 Ford Bronco Badlands, $52,580. On the surface, the decision seems obvious, they wouldn't. Yet, after embarking on a two-day journey through the breathtaking landscapes of Colorado's Rocky Mountains and expeditions, our perspective shifted. The adventure commences. Our journey kicked off in the picturesque town of Silverton, Colorado, an hour north of Durango. A fleet of six 2024 Polaris Expedition side-by-sides awaited us, three XP models with dump beds and three ADV models. We opted for a matte heavy metal four-door Expedition XP Northstar, loaded with all the necessary gear, before setting off towards the lofty clouds. Riding solo in a five-seater provided ample space for securely storing our camping equipment inside the cab. However, for those desiring family outings, the fully enclosed ADV models offer superior gear storage compared to the open bed XP. Under the hood, the Expedition boasts the same second-generation 999 cubic centimeters ProStar 1000 parallel twin engine as the new 2024 Polaris RZR XP generating 114 horsepower. This power is transmitted through a continuously variable transmission with high and low-range gears and an on-demand four-wheel drive system. In the realm of side-by-sides, CVTs excel at maintaining the engine within its power band, a crucial aspect as we navigated the nearly 2,800 pounds of vehicle and accessories at 13,000 feet. Impressively, even at such altitudes, the expedition never felt underpowered. It exhibited brisk acceleration on level ground and tackled steep grades with remarkable ease. While we predominantly kept the drivetrain in four-wheel drive, the seamless ability to shift between modes on the fly did not go unnoticed. Polaris promotes the Expedition as featuring the largest fuel tank in its class, boasting a capacious 12.5 gallons and claiming an impressive range of over 200 miles, an essential attribute for extended overland journeys. With just over 125 miles covered, we still had more than half a tank, as indicated on the Driver Information Center. It's worth noting that a different outcome might occur with increased time spent at wide open throttle. Entering the segment where we began overtaking Jeeps, all Expedition models are equipped with 2.0-inch Fox Podium QS3 dampers featuring position-sensitive spiral technology. This innovation involves machining a groove inside the shock body to enable fluid to bypass the piston valving, akin to a traditional internal bypass shock. Paired with an independent front and rear suspension offering 14 inches of wheel travel up front and 15 inches at the rear, the Expedition delivers an exceptionally smooth ride across various terrains. While it may not excel at handling large desert whoops, Setting the compression clickers to soft provided a comfortable journey over ruts, rocks, dips, bumps, and graded roads. The stabilizer bars installed fore and aft minimized head toss, and we never experienced a harsh bottoming of the suspension. However, given the premium price of the Northstar trims, expectations for the inclusion of the more advanced Dynamics dampers found on ours are models, with in-cab adjustability, seem reasonable. Casually traversing the trails at approximately 35 miles per hour, our fleet of expeditions effortlessly pass slower vehicles, primarily Jeeps. 
It became a recurring theme throughout the day, overtaking jeeps and other side-by-sides alike. Despite encountering numerous utility and adventure UTVs on the trails, we effortlessly surpassed them all. It was in these moments that the entire concept of the expedition started to make sense. Amidst our journey, we had the opportunity to appreciate one of Polaris' standout features, Ride Command Plus. Widely regarded as the industry's best built-in infotainment system, it's seamlessly connected to our phones through Bluetooth, allowing us to enjoy music and podcasts via the superb JBL audio system. The Polaris Ride Command System not only provided GPS navigation across a vast network of pre-programmed off-road trails, but also allowed for route pre-planning and uploading to the vehicle. The group ride feature stood out, displaying the location, speed, and direction of other vehicles in our convoy without relying on a cellular connection. Working within a distance of about 3 miles between vehicles and daisy chaining, it ensured communication even with a potential 15 miles of trail separating our convoy. Nighttime Shelter A significant allure of the Polaris Expedition lies in its capability to venture deep into less explored areas, providing an opportunity to connect with nature in ways that might otherwise be challenging. Facilitating this is the optional Rhino Rack Roof Rack and Polaris-branded rooftop tent, with a combined cost of approximately $2,500. While this price aligns closely with a conventional mid-range rooftop tent setup, it opens the door to unique off-road camping experiences. After locating a suitable campsite just below Engineer Pass at an elevation exceeding 11,000 feet, we endeavored to set up the tent in the darkness. The most challenging aspect of the process proved to be unzipping and removing the tent's cover. Fortunately, Polaris has addressed this by strategically placing step points around the expedition, aiding in reaching the roof. With the assistance of a knowledgeable Polaris employee experienced in setting up these tents, we had the shelter erected and ready within a mere 10 minutes. Sleeping in the tent presented typical rooftop tent challenges, yet the thick mattress offered comfort and support. The canvas walls effectively retained warmth, proving resilient against the elements throughout the night. Wind, rain, snow, and ice. Remarkably, even in windy conditions, the vehicle maintained exceptional stability challenges on the journey. Upon reaching the town of Lake City, Colorado, for a brief lunch break, we were confronted with the expedition's most significant drawback. Not all side-by-sides are street legal. While some states and localities permit the licensing of utility vehicles, the majority do not. Lake City allows limited side-by-side -side use within city limits. This limitation makes connecting trails separated by highways challenging, and point-to-point -point adventures become nearly impossible. The starting and ending points will invariably be where the truck and trailer are parked. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.